My name is Nathan and I make videos that help people build their confidence in understanding and exploring nature and the outdoors. In this video, I'll walk you through how to pack your backpack effectively. If you're doing multi-day trips with larger backpacks, these tips can easily be adapted for larger packs and trips. In an upcoming video, I'll explain in greater detail what you should take with you on a day hike, but for now, this video mostly explains the best way to arrange the items in your pack effectively and efficiently. If you're just starting out with day hiking and someone is leading your hike, you may have been given a packing list. If not, I have a sample list in the description you can use. Keep in mind that all lists are suggested and different hikes often warrant different gear. Packing a backpack is as easy as A, B, C. A, accessibility. B, balance. And C, compression. If you keep each of these in mind as you put your items into your day pack, you'll find you have a better overall experience. A well-packed backpack is simple, easy to access, and easy to adjust. Before you get started, I wanna make sure you have a proper backpack. Not all backpacks are the same, and sometimes people confuse day packs with a school bag or a knapsack. A good day pack has roughly 25 to 50 liters of carrying capacity, has padded shoulder straps, and a padded waist belt. Excellent packs may have adjustable shoulder straps and other extras, but aren't necessary for day hiking. A, accessibility. Having things accessible means putting the right things in the most accessible locations. If you have to dig through your entire backpack to get your rain jacket in the middle of a rainstorm, it kind of defeats the purpose. Think of when you'll need each item and put it in a place where it makes the most sense. Small items that should be accessible can be put in the top pocket. Or exterior pockets of the backpack. Larger, bulkier items that aren't needed until later can be stored deeper inside the pack. On day packs, this isn't as much of a problem since the number of items you're bringing isn't as high, but it can save you from having a yard sale every time you need something from your pack to put it in a place that you can remember and is accessible. B, balance. It's important to balance out your pack so that you don't have to do additional work while you are hiking. An unbalanced pack can lead to a miserable experience in the long term. Balancing a pack starts with where you put things specifically in the pack, keeping the heavier items closer to the, your center of gravity or your lower back and the lighter things on top or the exterior of the pack. Water is often a person's heaviest item and for this reason, many packs have a sleeve inside the pack against the back to put a hydration bladder and tube. If your pack doesn't have a hydration sleeve or you don't have a hydration bladder, avoid putting your water inside your backpack. Water needs to be accessible at all times. A better location is in a side pocket if the pack has one, or just carry it in your hand. Other heavy items might be food, fuel for cooking stoves if you're backpacking, and possibly camera equipment or tools. Find the balance between accessibility and weight when deciding where gear should go. The last one, compression. As space is often limited, it needs to be said that there are ways to make space that we sometimes forget. By compressing things that can be compressed and removing unnecessary packaging on products or food items, you can create more space inside your pack. It may also help to keep things organized into Ziploc bags and or compression sacks. As the hike continues, a Ziploc bag can act as a temporary garbage bag until the hike is completed, saving you from littering or carrying open garbage. 
It also needs to be said that attaching multiple items to the exterior of a backpack is ineffective. Rather than have a bunch of dingly danglies hanging off of your pack, likely throwing off your balance and getting caught or ripped while you hike, find ways to utilize the space inside your pack to get everything inside. Only attach items to the exterior of a pack as a last resort. And when doing it, try to get the items to lie vertically instead of horizontally. Ideally, at the back of the pack instead of on the sides. Adjusting your pack. Now that you have effectively packed your pack, including any additional group gear that you may be sharing, adjust your pack. The shoulder straps should sit squarely on the shoulders, coming up slightly from the attachment point on the pack, over the shoulders, and down back to the backpack at the bottom. The waist belt should sit directly over or slightly above the hip joint and should be snug. To, avoid, to adjust the shoulders and waist belt, use the shoulder straps to get the waist belt into the correct placement over the hips. If the shoulder straps do not make contact, adjust the straps until contact is made. Most packs also have straps over the shoulder straps to pull the pack in closer to your back. Once your waist belt and shoulder straps are correctly adjusted, this strap can be used to help distribute the weight more evenly between your hips and your shoulder straps. Some packs also allow you to adjust the location of the shoulder attachment point. This can be very useful when trying to get the shoulder strap to sit correctly. Experiment with different settings on your backpack until it feels comfortable. Many packs include a strap in the center of the pack to help distribute weight between the shoulder straps. The strap doesn't do very much, to be honest, so if your pack doesn't have one, don't worry. If it does, and it's adjustable, consider sliding the strap into a comfortable position or simply not using it at all if it is uncomfortable. Many female-specific and newer packs take into consideration the location and design of these straps, whereas older packs tend to be less forgiving. The last thing to do is load up your backpack and take it for a test drive. Put it on and go for a walk around the block. Get a feel for what feels comfortable or uncomfortable. It might need more adjusting before you go. You may, you may still need to do minor adjustments while you hike, but at least you won't need to do a complete overhaul in the middle of the hike with everyone waiting. Hopefully that helps you to understand how to pack your backpack. As far as knowing what to put in your backpack, well, that's going to be an upcoming video. A lot of people struggle with where to put things on their pack. I've watched kids do this for years, so I've seen a lot of pretty hilarious things. It doesn't hurt to experiment, try things out. So as long as you can follow those simple ABCs of backpacking, it's a good starting place. There's more to learn, definitely. And if you stick to it, you'll find you'll get better as you continue to go outside and just try things out. So that's pretty much all I got this time. So long for now, and hopefully I'll see you on some future videos. Take care. Oh, check out that oaf sweat. That's called hard work. That's what that is.